Hi there guys, Joe Depet here with another Best Free Games of the Day, and the first game today is called Egg Punch. Okay, this game's a lot like uh, pinball meets golf, or putt-putt golf, I guess I should say, or miniature golf. So you uh, just pull back, and you can, uh, you can look around like this, as long as you're not touching the egg anywhere on the screen, and then you pull back to aim, and then let it go, and you want to pick up the feathers, as often as you can, uh, try to get all of them, obviously. Ah, fail. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I'm not going for that middle one until the end, because I think that one takes you to the end. There we go. So when that left one dropped me over there. Oh, come here. Aw, oh, man, bollocks. I'm sure there's a way to snap to the end. There, get in there. Drop it. Yeah, all right. And come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it. All right. There we go. Drop it. Woo! There you go. And later on, the, the reason I say it's like pinball because there are bunnies in this game too. And if you hit the bunnies that have the little uh, helmets on, then see like this right here then you'll bounce around like a pinball. And it adds extra points to your, your game and the more points you get, the more gold you get at the end of the level and you use gold to unlock power-ups and skins and stuff like that. Like there's a magnet and, and things of this uh, effect. So you're kind of used to that in these sort of arcade games. So it's a really awesome game. Check it out. Okay, the next game is called Running Fred. And I already unlocked like double jump, but there's a uh, double jump and a couple other things that you can unlock with uh, these little coins you pick up. And it's like every 10 coin, the uh, silver coins equals a gold coin. <laughs> If you, if you recognize this uh, character, he's from Falling Fred, which is uh, another best free game of the day from a way back. It's probably free right now, I'm not sure. But it's uh, it's hilarious because it says kids like falling infinitely and basically he just said he's going to die eventually. It's just a matter of time. And uh, you just basically weave in and out and try to save him as long as you can. And this one's actually either level based or survival based, so the other one I think is just survival based. Woo! Get over there! Get them coins. Yeah, baby. Whoa! Yeah, oh, no, 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 no! Whoa! This reminds me a lot of uh, Super Mario 64, the kind of running and the way he jumps and everything and double jumps. So there's no like, you know, button to press forward the whole time, which is cool. And it's a uh, tilt base to move left and right. Which I usually don't like in games, but it works really well with this one. Woo! They get a little turbo boost and things like that. And you get power-ups, like I said, that I haven't unlocked yet. Let's see you. Come on, baby. Whoa! Got time just right to get those gold coins. Sweet. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the shop real quick just to show you there's different avatars or skins that you can buy with your little gold coins or skull coins. So you go over to skills, you got wall grip, already have that. And wall bounce, scully magnet. Uh, do I have enough of that? No. It's 50, I have 50. Um, chicken flap life slot and then uh, fast recovery so if you fall or something like that get knocked down and get up faster rubber bones and panic power so there's a lot of stuff to get and also there's uh, different levels you can unlock uh, there's only three different worlds that you can unlock right now so uh, there's six there's six total uh, three more coming soon so check that out and also guys Galaga 30th anniversary is awesome they were like, why are you holding it wrong side up, Jojo? Galaxian's a free game, I guess you could say. Okay, so, and you can change the control scheme. I just have it like this, because it's more or less like an arcade game. Ah! That was sad. And you can hold it down like that, or you can tap it. 
if you feel more comfortable doing that. See, but there's a charge of uh, of shots up in the top right. See where it says empty right now? So it's it takes a while to recharge. So it works better if you just tap it though. Sorry. <laughs> you probably couldn't see the charges because it was out of frame. I don't like vertical games for this reason. It's hard to film them. There we go. Okay, Jetpack Joyride. Okay, so this is Jetpack Joyride. And I'm still dressed as Santa Claus, and I'm not gonna change it because <laughs> it took me a while to get this stuff. So basically, you tap down to uh, to get to go up, and then you drop down if you let go. You want to avoid those shocking things right there, and you don't have to kill the guys that are uh, this little scientist. Pick up oh, you want to pick up those power ups that I just missed, but you want to watch out for those things because the rockets coming at you. But it gives you a, a fair heads up. Ah! No! Aww. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, here we go. Hey, I got like a little snowball machine and everything on my skins. You can uh, unlock skins with uh, various coins and whatnot. And I've got a double uh, coin multiplier that I unlocked for like 99 cents because. They, they do a lot of updates on this game, and here, here's one of the power-ups right now. So, it's a gravity suit from Gravity Guy. Woo! And I got magnets on that. Woo! No! There we go. So, when you get hit with uh, anything and you're, uh, you have a power-up on, or a vehicle as they call it, then uh, you actually don't die. It's kind of like having an extra life. So it's like a boost and an extra life at the same time. You want to get these little uh, fly coins that are flying around because those give you bonus spins at the end of the game after you die. And you can get anything from uh, power-ups for the next game, like a, like a start boost and stuff like that, and uh, another chance of life or you know double coins, stuff like that. And I've got magnets on all my vehicles, so if I get anywhere near uh, one of the any of the coins then it brings them to me see I've got like 308 coins right now just for this run this is not bad ah! oh man but that's definitely a great game the final game is Monopoly Hotels which is a free-to-play game okay and obviously this is built off of the Monopoly franchise uh, you start off with just one hotel and you build ho hotel rooms and you know oh there's just there's a bad guy and you had to tap on the bad guy and you get a reward for it otherwise he steals money from you or something and you build the different rooms and there are different levels of building the room like that i'm on the final part of building that room uh these are there's guest rooms and then there's decorations like balconies you can build and it makes it more attractive to people coming in you get experience for it and yada 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 but it's uh it's kind of like farmville in a way but it's more of a monopoly sort of oh community chest sweet and you want to hit these little money things falling down that's why i swipe back and forth a lot um uh, let's see tap to get 10 times your roll roll double one to get gold okay so let's go eh got money that's cool money's always good See like this little key, that means the re the room is ready. So now someone's already checked into the guest room. Yeah, I have 464. So let me go ahead and check what guest room I can build. Let's do Scotty Dog Room. I don't have enough money, what are you talking about? Oh, I need 500, okay. So I can do a koala room. Let me go ahead and build one of those. Over here and I double tap and I start building. Okay, so that'll take a while to build. And there's constantly money falling down. You want to tap on it because that gives you cash. Monopoly monies. Monopoly monies. You get the Monopoly man popping up all the time, giving you tips and whatnot. The electric company, you want to tap on it if it's not full, so they constantly have electricity. It takes away your money when you do that. What's a nice little game? And is, I mean, it means there's money for you to pick up. And you have, 
uh, VIP rooms, which is really cool. The only uh, this is where a lot of the in-app purchases come from. So if you see right here, uh, 10 gold, 27 gold, 60 gold, 87 gold. Gold is a rarity in this game. Just uh, the only way I've seen to get it so far is by the community chests. But uh, so otherwise, you have to buy it, and I'm sure it's not cheap. But you know, it, that's that's the price you play for these free-to-play games, or you know, whatever the, whatever this is called. There we go. See, when you level up, there's a windfall of money, and you just tap it as fast as you can. Ah. I'm not sure what the denominations are, but I try to go for the you know the higher ones first, what as they are in the game, so or the, the board game I'm used to. I remember from a long time ago. I was kind of hoping this is like Monopoly, Monopoly, but this is like Monopoly meets Farmville, so or Tiny Towers. But you don't have to look for jobs for people or anything like that. But definitely check that out, guys. The only reason I did a best free games of the day today is because there are a lot of games out that are really good that are free. Um, these are all great games. Either Running Fred or Jetpack Joyride are my favorite. So thanks for watching, you guys. Y'all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Skizzle!